Hey guys, it's Dave with Wags Automotive here today. And I got a little something different for you guys today. This is my 93 Dodge Ram 250 three quarter ton truck. And I'm gonna sell it. So I'm putting a video of it here on the internet, on YouTube, for you guys to look at. If anybody's interested, you can contact me down below. Uh, and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I got a lot of stuff I wanna show you guys. So keep in touch with me. I got different things going on. I know I haven't worked on the RT for a while. I need to work on it again, but I've got other things I gotta get done right now. So I'm working on other stuff, and I got a few cars I'm gonna sell. I'm trying to work on them and get them sold. This is one of them. So let me tell you a little bit about this uh, 93 Dodge D250. It's a great truck. So as you can see, this truck is very clean. It's very nice. It's in excellent condition. I'll do a walk around here tell you a little bit about it I've owned this truck for about 11 years I bought it in 09 and when I bought it it only had 38,000 miles on it and the reason for that is because it was used as a groundskeeping vehicle at a college and it never was licensed for the street so when I bought it in 09 I'm, I was the first person to license it for the street so I bought it and I've been using it ever since I've been working on it making it nice but when I bought it it was pretty beat up so I put a whole new front end on it I got different doors I got a different bed and I had it painted as you can see it's in beautiful shape the paint job isn't perfect but for a truck that's as old as this truck is it's super nice you can tell by looking at it how nice it is but I'll tell you what I've done to it we'll start with the body so it's got a new whole new front end on it well the hood isn't new but I, I bought a used one to put on it um, and the front bumper uh, but it's got a new grill new fenders and a new paint job of course and we go here to the side it's got new tires new front brakes uh, pads calipers and rotors I believe I put rotors on it I had a caliper sticking last year so I replaced everything on the front end of it uh, I got new mirrors on it. The windows have been tinted. It's got aftermarket wheels, as you can see, eight lug, real nice looking wheels. They look great on this truck. I get compliments on it all the time everywhere I go. It's a super nice truck. These, these back tires are not new. They're a few years old, but if you can see that, they got still got great tread left on them and they, they work really well in the mud. Uh, I've never gone four wheeling with this thing, but I've never gotten stuck with it either when I'm off road. Got new tail lights on it, and I also bought these, these things are notorious for having tail light wiring problems. So um, I bought a new tail light harness and put that on there. And as you can see, one thing that's nice about this truck is it has a Tommy lift on it, and it's it's a working Tommy lift. I'll show you here real quick. Well, if I can remember how to do it, I'll show you. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll make a quick video of that in the end. I'll make another video and attach it to this one. It's hard to do one-handed. Sorry, guys. Um, it's also got a new exhaust on it. It's a three-inch exhaust. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like underneath. It's a, a glass pack. And it just connects to the to the main pipe it was a three inch so i just made it three inch all the way out to the side here it sounds great runs great you can see up there in the fender well it looks really good when i had it painted i had uh wheel arch patch panels i bought new ones and put them on there had them put on there so there's no rust in it and i'll show you if you want to look down here the rocker panels they're clean of course the front fenders are new so there's obviously no rust in them but it's really clean underneath here. You can look underneath at the floorboards. And as you can see, it's just a rust-free truck. Real nice, real good condition. There's the inside of the rocker panels. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I'm trying to get a good picture of it here. But you can see it's, it's clean. The other side looks the same. 
I mean, this truck is virtually rust free. So it's a super nice truck. It's in excellent condition. All right, let's go up here and I'll show you the inside of it. Now this emblem here is not new, but it looks new because I restored it. I don't know how to do that. Maybe someday I should make a video on how to restore emblems. But as you can see, it looks, it looks brand new, even though it's not. And like I said, it does have new mirrors on it. So if we open it up on the inside, you can see this, this door panel is in really nice condition. It does have a little damage down here with the speaker covers. Um, it does have new speakers in it, in the doors, six by nines. There's the dash, nice and clean, excellent condition. There's the other door panel. It's real nice. I mean, this truck is just real clean. I will tell you, uh, a couple weeks ago, I put brand new carpet in it, pulled the seat and the carpet out, put brand new carpet in it, and I treated the floor with rust killer and then sprayed uh, undercoating on top of that to seal it and put new brand new sound deadener and brand new carpet in it. And I also put new sill plates in it, as you can see, by how beautiful they shine. There's a seat I had it recovered a few years back in uh, velour because I like I don't like burning my butt on vinyl seats, so I had it recovered in black. And it's a little faded, but it's not torn. It's not damaged at all. It's in real really great condition considering what it is. And I'll show you the big deal about this truck. The cool thing about it that makes it unusual, and you guys know how I like. If you've watched my videos, you know I like low mileage vehicles. Like I said, this thing had 38,000 miles when I bought it. I've owned it for 11 years. And as you can see, now it has 68,695 miles on it. So I've basically put 30,000 miles on this truck since I bought it. So, you know, I don't drive it a lot. I've used it to tow stuff with. It does have a hitch on the back, of course. And you can hear it running now. Stereo playing. You can hear how it sounds. It sounds really good. It's a good strong engine. So it's in really good shape. All the gauges work as you can see. Temperature gauge, voltage gauge, oil pressure gauge, fuel gauge. You know, it's just it's just a super nice truck. Super clean in great condition this is this door panel I will tell you that if somebody buys it from me I do have two other door panels that are red that are practically new I bought them off the internet I just haven't put them on there yet they're in my building I gotta find them and I'll throw those in with the deal uh, the battery is from 11 of 17 so it's a couple years old but it still works fine um, as you can see under the hood, everything's real clean, real nice. I did put a new water pump on it, a new belt. I also put a new radiator in it, and I switched the uh, AC over to 134A. As you can see, it's got the cap on it there. I switched it over to 134A. So, as you can see, it runs really well. No problems with it. And also... Um, last year I was taking a trip out of town, so I decided to do a major tune-up on it. I put distributor cap, rotor, new plug wires, new plugs, and as you can see down there, a new coil. So this thing's in really good shape. It runs really well. I will tell you one thing. I did put a new master cylinder on it right there, and I painted it red, but unfortunately the seal up here in the top the seal leaks and it's taking all the paint off of it so it still works fine it just that seal doesn't doesn't hold doesn't doesn't hold the fluid in very well so but the good news is is right here in this box I'll show you I have another as you can see in there it's a little rusty because it's been sitting around but clean it up and paint it Another brand new master cylinder that goes with the truck. And I also have a brand new starter because I had somebody, when I had the guy doing the body work on it, he told me the starter was bad, so I bought a new one, gave it to him. And then he come to find out that he didn't 
uh, connect the wire right when he was had the had the fenders off and he put them back on. He didn't connect the wires right. So, like I said, with the car, with the vehicle purchase comes a new starter and a new master cylinder. You can put those on there. So that's the truck. That's what I know about it. As I as I said, it's in great condition. No rust. It's a beautiful truck. So if you know anybody's looking for a truck, you can hear it right on there. Sounds kind of mean. I get compliments on it everywhere I go. So I will uh, make a quick separate video of this of this time we left working, but it does work. It's just hard to do one-handed. So anyhow, um, if you guys are interested, send me a message below and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I got some more stuff coming. Still gonna work on the RT. I got more work to do on the Matador, but I, I own quite a few vehicles. Uh, I'll give you a quick shot. There's my shop. There's a couple vehicles I own. And uh, oh, by the way, this is my newest hauler that I just purchased not too long ago. This trailer is brand new. I only purchased it like three weeks ago, so it's brand new. But it's, it's a beast of a trailer. So if anybody wants to buy that truck, I can haul it for you. You know, uh, we'll work something out. So give me a call or, or, get, or shoot me a message if you're interested. I uh, looked on Kelly Blue Book on this truck, and according to uh, Kelly Blue Book, as you all probably already know, if this truck was a Cummins diesel, it'd be priced at about fifteen to twenty-five thousand, even though it's as old as it is. But with the low miles on it and the condition it's in now, which I consider to be excellent, it's priced between seven and ten thousand dollars. You know, so if you guys are interested, if you're looking for a nice truck to tow stuff with, this truck would be really good for that. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Also, when I when I had the body work done, I had all new door seals put in it along the doors there, and even the quarter windows. I had them taken out, put new seals in them, and the weather strip along the bottom of the windows here. I had that put in too. So all that weather stripping is new. It's all brand new. Matter of fact, you got to slam the doors just to get them to shut right because all these seals right here, they're all new. So you can see they're in really good shape. No problems with any of them. This truck is a driver. It's ready to go. There's my other side with the brand new door, door sill plates. Got a nice set of ram floor mats in there. But it's a super nice truck. It's in great condition. You know, I'd love to sell it to somebody who would enjoy it. Um, I'll give you a quick shot down here You can see it's got a hitch on it and a, and a wire harness for a trailer so anyhow If you're interested Shoot me a message. Let me know if you're in the Kansas City area. You're welcome to come look at it uh, We can meet up somewhere If you're not in the Kansas City area and you're interested in buying it like I said I, I would be willing to haul it to tow it to somebody so, you know, I do want to get rid of it. It's a really nice truck. So anyhow, you guys let me know what you think. If you're interested, uh, give me a, shoot me a message and we'll figure something out. All right, I'll show you the, the time we left here in a minute. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye. Hey guys, one quick thing I wanted to show you that I forgot to show you in the, in the first video uh, about this truck is if you look over here, this is kind of a unique feature on this truck. It's got a button right here. It's an overdrive off button. And if you're driving and you're pulling a trailer, just push that button in, it lights up, turns your overdrive off, and uh, that way you're not uh, towing a heavy load with your overdrive, which is probably not a good idea on, on vehicles this old. But it's a really unique feature. It's really nice. If you're, t if you're towing, you know, normally driving down the road without a trailer, you can have the overdrive on. But if you're towing anything heavy or, you know, driving off-road or whatever you can turn the overdrive off and it works a lot better that way um, protect your transmission from damage and that is a JVC uh, CD player you press that button there there's your CD player inside so it works great don't have any problems with it um, I'll show you give you a shot of the dash here if you can see it as you can see it's real nice you know I mean, this this truck is is not perfect because it's 
an old truck, you know, 20 some odd years old. I mean, it's, it's old enough, it's over 25 to be considered an antique. So, you know, but, but it is in good shape. Uh, there's a shot of the ceiling. Just a little more you can see there. But like I said, it is a nice truck. I hope somebody buys it from me and gives it a good home because it deserves it. It's been a good truck for me. I can't complain about it. But I need something a little bigger, so I bought that, that dually over there. But um, anyhow, you know, give me give me a shout if you're interested in buying it or looking at it or whatever. And uh, we'll meet up and work things out. So uh, thanks for watching my channel. I appreciate it, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right, guys. Tommy left. As you can see, it's down. The thing I want to point out to you is it's got an extra flap that was on it when I bought it. On the end of it, it was welded on. Uh, so they have a longer gate, but it acted like a sail. Uh, really hurt my gas mileage, so I cut it off and put hinges on it. So it's it, you can use it, but it's, it's a nice little ramp to be able to pull something up on there, or, or you know, wheel a cart up on there if you have to, or whatever. It's a nice little ramp. But the good thing about it is now it folds up just like this. Folds up like that, and it doesn't catch the wind anymore. That's kind of nice. So let me show you how this thing works. You got a lever here. You lift up on the lever, lift up on this handle, push back down on the lever, like that. As you can see, it works great. It's a little slow going down. They could probably use the tune-up, but it does work. I've lifted complete. V8 engines with this thing that weigh six, seven hundred pounds, and it lifts them right up there. It's really great if you're hauling stuff. So, like I said, this is a really good truck. Uh, you diesel guys, if you're looking for a truck to convert over to a diesel, I mean, this would be a really good one for that. Um, you know, but um, if you're interested, give me a give me a shout below. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you like it or not. Uh, I looked online and. Finding one of these in a gasoline engine is almost impossible. There's a lot of diesels out there, but the gasolines are almost impossible to find. Most of them are junk. But this is a super nice truck, 68,000 miles. So if you're interested, send me a message, let me know, and we'll, we'll work out the details later. So thanks for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Talk to you later.